Hello and welcome to a new video and welcome to Gothenburg Central Train Station in Sweden. I need to head back to the UK so I need to get from Gothenburg Central Station here to Gothenburg Airport and I'm going to be using Flixbus. When I got off my train I did notice this bus station to the left of the station uh, I assumed it was the place I needed to catch my bus, I made my way. It wasn't so I needed to make my way back towards the front of Gothenburg Central Station to find Nils Ericsson Terminal. The map on my phone wasn't very clear to where the bus station was. It turns out if you get off your train on the platform basically head into this main terminal there and turn right, Nils Ericsson uh, bus terminal is actually attached to the right hand side, just over there to the right, to the train station. Obviously I've come the long way round. The doors on the right hand side here, that is the main front building of the um, Gothenburg train station. I've got about 40 minutes before my bus so I'm not going to go and wander around Gothenburg, I'm just going to wait here in the uh, bus terminal. It's a bright and airy place, there's a few shops uh, for buying things like uh, hot food, uh, books etc. There's not a huge amount of seating in here. I sat opposite my gate and just spent a little bit of time watching these birds play in the mud. So the bus has arrived at the gate, so it's now time to get on board. This is run by a third party uh, coach company for Flixbus and it's around 30 minutes down to Gothenburg Airport. The bus was very clean and these seats were exceptionally comfortable. My seat today is at the rear of the coach. There is power sockets at the seat. The seats also have uh, these little tables. There is a reading light above your head. There's also USBs above your head, which has to be the strangest place I've ever seen USBs put on a bus. Don't know if you can quite make it out. They're just there. I booked this trip direct on Flixbus's website. They do charge in euros, and it cost me six euros ninety nine, which is about six pound twenty sterling. As always in Sweden, the bus leaves right on time. Gothenburg is a beautiful place. There's a large tram network, so I would imagine it is very easy to get around this place without the need for a car. Please do subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified when a new video gets uploaded.
If you'd like to see more short how-to guides like this, please leave a comment below. Gothenburg does have a theme park, as you can see there. Once we leave the city, it's not long before we arrive at Gothenburg Airport. It is quite a small airport when you compare it to say Stockholm, but it is a nice little place. At Gothenburg, Flixbus uses bus stand 5. 